9th today. Um, let's get into this. So I wrote, I wrote a few notes here. I have some notes somewhere around here. Okay. Let's delve into the gold mine of business and that's actually getting clients. Okay. So we want to talk about how, well, first of all, I want to correct something. I want to talk about, so I come on this thing all the time and I'm always talking. It's always me and Carson talking. Uh, we're always communicating. We want y'all to communicate with us now. Okay. I'm always telling y'all secrets about how to build a good website. I'm always telling y'all about, you know, how, uh, to, to post online, uh, the way that you should run a business, the way I've been running a business. Okay. For the last, uh, 16 years. And I always give you my secrets and stuff. So I want to kind of hear from everyone else, uh, about how, uh, they're getting business for junk removal, okay? We're getting business for junk removal. I want to know y'all secrets. So I'm going to give everybody a chance to talk tonight. Uh, but here, here's the thing about it. We have this mastermind group. I'm not charging anybody for this mastermind. This group is open for all of us to share, you know, all of us to share ideas. So let's share how we get business. Um, and uh, let's see if it can help any of us. Okay. So Ricardo, so, I know... Um... I know we were talking before and you're talking about how creative Orson is and hustling for business. So I think he'd be, I think he'd be a good one to kind of start with, to get people an idea of, you know, every, like, you know, Ricardo's the king of Google, you know, and everybody in here has maybe their little niche of what they may be good at. And so I know Orson has his little niche of what makes him just different, you know? Okay. No pressure. Never. And before I start with you, Orson, um, I want to talk about a few people that I have seen online. I want to congratulate, first of all, Rick. What the F, Rick? Boy, Rick's got out there. Let, you know, I saw one of Rick's videos. This is Rick. This is Rick's first video to the video that I saw. What was it today? Was it today that you posted something? I, I post something each day, but today I think it was about my dump truck. Yeah, yeah. So this is Rick's first video. This is hilarious, guys. This is Rick doing his first video, and this is Rick's today's video. So I, I think I saw your video today. Yeah, no, I've, I've, I've been putting them out every day for about a week and a half or so, but this was the most recent. Okay, so this is Rick on his first video. Hey, guys. It's me, Rick. And today we're going to talk about... Oh, that's an older one. <laughs> And then this is Rick today. This is Rick today. Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna talk about, and I'm like, oh, my boy's getting comfortable. So everyone yeah. give him a round of applause. He's getting better at this. He is getting better at it. Yeah, I'm shot. yeah. yeah. no, you're doing good, dude. I was like, I'm ha I'm happy for you, brother. I was happy for you. I was like, this is awesome. All right, well, Fred, do you want to say something, Fred, really fast? Oh no, something? that was just. I mean, I can say something. But oh, that, that was, was like you clapping. Really? Okay. And Moses, I saw you post one thing. Is two that things. correct? Yeah, two oh, things. things. Okay, so. Actually, three job. things. Stay removal, brush removal, and up. Uh, and welcome in Kevin. Kevin's new to the group right here. Kevin's new to the group. Jump okay. number one. We all met Kevin at the, what do you call it? What is that, Herrera? What is it? What do you, what do you got doing, doing that? What is that? Uh -huh. Waving at my wife and the little rascals. Oh, okay, okay. So um, what we wanted to do today was let everybody talk about how they're getting their business. Uh, let's hear um, from people what they're using. And maybe it's something. Did you find success with this online idea that you're doing? Did you build a strong relationship with a real estate agent or property manager? Maybe, uh, maybe one of us members have some kind of experience with flyer distribution or uh, maybe a community outreach or a networking group. Um, let's share our diverse approaches to like client acquisition. But I want to talk about client, how you get customers and how you get clients, um, new ideas that maybe it could help anybody in this group help expand their customer base. Okay. So just tell me how you got a customer and kind of explain it and do it in a short term. And then do you want to throw anything in here, Carson, really fast before we start off? Um, I don't think so. Okay. So Orson, let's talk about how you're getting some of your business. Okay. Yeah. So, so for me, I just recently started this full time that this is my fourth week full time at <laughs> junk removal, but I've been doing this part time just on Sundays for a, a little under a year now. And uh, the main way I get customers is honestly through Nextdoor. Um, a, a lot of people talk about Nextdoor, like post on there, do the ads, all that. 
I feel like that doesn't work necessarily as good. What is good is those recommendations on Nextdoor. So for, if someone posts on there, like, like my company, it's called GPTX Junk Removal. So if they're like, oh, GPTX did such a great job with this, with that. Now all of a sudden people are seeing one of their neighbors, one of their community members, and they're like, oh, hey, they're recommending him. They're recommending him for a reason. Mm -hmm. Another good thing about Nextdoor that a lot of people don't recommend, and I don't know like the rules on it or, or what, but it's worked out really well for me. It's a little insider secret. So I think I have about like 10 Nextdoor accounts because the way Nextdoor works is you can only post to your neighborhood, to like your local area of like five, 10 miles or something like that. Mm. So what I got all my friends, family, whoever to, to make an account or to recommend me in their neighborhood. So that way I'm not just going out to like my local five mile radius. I'm going to like a 25, 30 mile radius. And it's been working out really good to me. And I have one main page, my GPTX page, and then like 10 friends, family members who recommend that page. And now all of a sudden I'm getting a really broad area instead of just that tiny little neighborhood. Next door might not be working for you, but it might just be because you're in a neighborhood that maybe doesn't do very well on junk removal. But if you expand that a little bit, it'll work a little bit better. I always say junk removal is kind of like fishing. You know, the more fishing rods you have out there in the in the pond, lake, wherever, the more fish you're going to catch. So it's really all about how many rods can you get in that pond to catch those, those fish. Right. Um, just a side note on this next door thing. I, me and Orson last week did a piano removal, and I asked the lady where she found me, and she said next door, and I said, huh? I was like, what? Guys, I do no business on next door. I don't post anything on Nextdoor. I don't, I've never opened the application on my phone. I've never even done that. So I have no idea. But she said Nextdoor and I was like, hmm, kind of weird. Anyway, uh, she found me on Nextdoor. So let's go to the next person. Let's talk about uh, Kevin. Kevin, and I don't want to talk about leads that you paid for or Google, Facebook ads or something. If it was Facebook, maybe something free, uh, maybe a way you got a lead, okay? Kevin, your volume, Kevin, your volume. Kevin, your volume. Oh, it's there? Yes. Hey, okay. Um, well, I'm not paying for Google leads anymore since uh, before I came down to the summit, I had, I had cut those off and things. So I'm running nothing but organic. So I've slowed way down. But the quality of leads that I'm getting from the organic is better. I'm not getting as much, but they're a lot better. I'm getting a higher um, percentage on the money. And things, and it doesn't seem like the people are one. They, they're not bickering back and forth, you know, like oh, you're too much, you know. It seems like the quality is a lot better, and things. I love Kevin. Kevin, let me interrupt you. So, what are you doing that's free that you're getting these customers? What's a technique you're doing? What I'm doing for free is right now I'm hitting up realtors and I'm offering escrow. And I'm picking up some escrow clients uh, when when the when the realtors get ready to close the house. They have a bunch of stuff going on. Uh, the, the the homeowner doesn't have the uh, relatively the the cash, the immediate cash available to them. So what I do is I offer to put them in an escrow account, and they have to be within 30 days of closing. Uh, as long as they're within 30 days of closing, then I'll put it in an escrow account. I'll send over all the paperwork, and uh, that's why I've been picking up some uh, real estate jobs. Does anybody understand what he's talking about, or is it just me? Am I yeah, lost? Yeah, right yeah, like yeah I've done that before for a big uh, no. house. As soon as he said S escort escrow whatever. I, I got lost. Okay, yeah, you're yeah. going to go a little slower, Kevin. <laughs> I, I talk to us like we're kids in in middle school or something because I didn't understand what you're talking about. What's escrow? Escrow is uh, what uh, real estate people uh, use to when they go to sell a house and every all the funds go into an escrow account. And then after the house is sold, then who's ever got their paperwork inside of escrow, they get cut a check. Uh, well, I'm sorry, but how are you? How are you? How is Kevin Junk Junk Nine One One? How are you being involved in that? 
How are you? What we, we sneaking in, get paperwork? Are you breaking someone's house or, or what's going on? Well, I'm just going to the real estate offices. I'm talking to realtors. Oh, uh, okay. So you're I'm talking, talking to real estate and talking to realtors and realtors are coming to me and saying, Hey, I hear that you're doing escrow and they'll have people that they, they have that need that service. And I'll say, yeah, as long as you're within 30 days of escrow, I've closed three uh, escrow accounts in the last six months. It's just not, they don't come in hot and heavy. But in the last six months, I've, I've probably closed $25,000 worth of business. Okay. All right, Rick, you got a question for uh, Kevin? Yeah, so I, I think he answered it. So you're basically, you're saying you're going to these real estate offices and you're, 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 you're reaching out to realtors saying, hey, if you have any clients that are moving or whatever and they, they do have junk removal, I won't expect payment up front or anything. It'll, it'll be at close of escrow. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, so I, I let them know that, that I will take escrow right. at the time of closing, but they have to be within 30 days. If they're right. out, if they're not in escrow and within 30 days of closing, I don't do it. Hey, Hanario, you're moving your head up and down. Tell me about your experience with that. Woo, one of my first junk removal jobs was a real estate agent that approached me if I would do um, a junk removal up front and get on escrow like like he's talking about, and it was a uh, nine thousand dollar job that uh that, that that happened once the the once the closing came about the the real estate or the title company sent me a check um for the nine thousand dollars okay but they hey. approached me i didn't know anything about it and so now when i do talk to real estate agents i say hey, you know i can get on so i use the same thing i can get on the escrow once you know once they go to closing i get paid and then okay. you know, i do charge a little bit more i don't tell them that but i do Okay. Um, do you uh, did you not pay your electric bill? Do you, I can't. I can barely see you. You look black. Me? Oh, no. I got a tan, brother. It's hot as fuck down here in Florida. Okay. Um, Renarda, you had a question, and Matt, are you growing ears or something? What's going on with you? <laughs> All right, go ahead, Renarda. Renarda, I'm sorry, but we can't. We we don't understand sign language, baby. I mean, I can't read your lips. My bad. <laughs> So is there, Kevin, is there something that you have to do or have to provide the realtor to be included in the closing table disbursement of monies? Because that's all it is. Yeah, basically you you have a, you make up yourself a, paper, a piece of paper that basically saying what the, what your conditions are to go into escrow. Then once uh, you get a hold of the title company, the, the person that, that's running, running the title company that's running that close, that house, that closing and you make sure that your paperwork is in the file. If you, you know, you got to, you talk to them directly. Don't talk, don't go to your realtor and ask them, Hey, can you make sure this gets into the file? No, you get the, you get the name of the, of the title company, the person that, that's dealing with the closing and you call them directly and you, and you set up a communication with them and say, Hey, I want to fax over my paperwork to go into the file. <clears throat> way it has your cost that you, you're charging for the job what you're doing just a little uh blip of what you, what you're doing there and what the cost is and a lot and, and you send it into the title company and once they've got it in the file you're good to go <clears throat> okay indio you had a question yeah this is also to kevin um that, that was part of it but and and Hanario, you mentioned something. You charge? Do you charge a little more? And how do you how do you work around you getting paid thirty days out? I mean, is there is you are you are you doing other work besides that? Is that your main piece, or I mean, how does that work? Because thirty oh, days no. is a long time, yeah. No, I I get other work coming in. You know, I do uh, yard signs. I get a lot of lot of stuff off of yard signs. Okay. So this is just I'm working with realtors. Um, because you get a little bit more bang bang for your buck with them. Um, I charge $130 to, to do the escrow paperwork. That's a little extra that I tack on because you know I I sit here after hours and you know it may take me you know 30, 40 minutes to put together the paperwork, make sure it's all set up right, and then once I get it over. So I charge you know an escrow fee, you know, I think that on top of my my uh, my bed. Okay. Appreciate that. Brings a little bit more. There you go. I never knew there was even that existed. I've been doing this for years. 
Okay. Okay. You know what, dude? Until you go color, I'm not talking to you, Nick, anymore. <laughs> Don't no. talk to me. Go ahead, Nick. Hey, Kevin, do you just have like a blank form then? So when you do your escrow stuff, you don't have to sit there and type it all out, or is it it's like you fill in the blanks? Yeah, yeah. I just uh, what I did, I built a little template and things, uh, and then as an account comes in, I can type in the person's name, the address right. of the property, you know, the escrow company, and all you know, just <laughs> fill it all in. Once I got it all filled in real quick, then I send the fax it over or email it over to the escrow uh, person. Hey, Kevin, is this, uh, is your little paperwork, is that uh, top secret stuff or what is that? Oh, not at all. Let's um, see it. Can, can someone uh, email you and you maybe send them a copy? Yeah, absolutely. They so anybody in this group that's interested in that, Renardia, maybe Nick, you know, send them an email. Uh, go ahead and put your email on the, um, the uh, chat, the little chat, Kevin. And maybe you can here. give them a copy of yours. Let me see here. Okay. We'll go with Moses. Yep. Moses, Moses, let's talk about how um, yeah. how you get uh how you've gotten a job that was a surprise to you uh, that maybe could help out somebody on this group. Okay, so what I've done different, I mean, I'm sure all of you guys do it, I've, I've done it, whatever. So I'll you know, I'll do a clean out or whatever, and of course I get you know a lot of stuff maybe is good. And you know I'll keep it sell or whatever, but something like maybe a small couch or something. I just I just started posting. I, I from a big clean out, I'll just keep something that's nice, and good shape, and instead of selling it, I'll post it on a, on a free, uh, you know, Facebook group. Just saying, hey man, I did the clean out today, and I got this, but I want to give to, give it to someone that could really use it, really in need. And I've got a couple people that picked it up and give them my cards, and I got a couple jobs that way. That's something different I'm doing. And and Moses, these Facebook groups that you're posting them on, yeah. Um, what what group is it? What I mean, it's not a junk removal group. It's a some kind of group you're posting on, right? No, just uh, so every you know, just local free, just type of you know free Vancouver stuff or whatever. So someone's there's a bunch of groups, so those pop up that uh, what's what's free Vancouver basically in the Facebook groups, and and that's it. Okay. On that okay. Out and and it's and it's it's gotten a couple leads and. Every time someone will, you know, pop up, hey, I need I need a junk caller, and then someone that I've given something free to or whatever, they'll be like, oh yeah, call, you know, Moses on point, you know, whatever. So they they're starting to recommend me a little bit. So that's that's something different that's kind of working. Okay, okay. By the way, Kevin put his email at the bottom. It's Kevin at junk nine one one dot com. So Nick, he's not going to email you. You're going to have to email him, dude. Nick, look, look, look at Nick. Nick was on top of it. He's like, San Diego dot com. email. All right, <laughs> Vince. Let's talk about you, Vince. Let's talk about junkguysaustin.com. Get some of the business. What what happened to your camera? Are you scared? Oh, there you are. There you go. Yeah, yeah. He's All a right. Texas fan. Texas. Hey. All right. Go ahead. Ready? So let's right. talk about how you've gotten some jobs that are kind of oh. on the sneak sneak. And this ain't using your signs outside. We've seen your signs. So let's talk yeah, about yeah. how you've gotten some jobs that kind of surprised you at some point. Yeah. Um. Honestly, guys, um, when I first started out the first few years, I didn't uh, use Facebook to my advantage. You know, I was just posting, you know, before and after pictures. Um, you know, my friends would see it, uh, family friends, uh, maybe some high school buddies. Um, but what I started doing is I started, I try to do at least at 10 people, you know. So what I'll do is I'll just go in the search bar, Facebook, and just type in, you know, Realtors Austin, Texas. And a lot of these realtors, you know, they do a lot of work, you know, they... They live good lifestyles. You know, they got a lot of money and their friends got a lot of money. Um, so what it is, is I use that to my advantage. I go and I, you know, my Vince page, I have like 3.1K followers. I don't know really more than half of them, but they all know me. Uh, they know what I do in Austin. And a lot of the times, uh, similar to what Moses and um, I think somebody else says, I get a lot of re recommended. So I'll just get people in my messenger box say, hey, Vince, I seen that you do junk removal. Uh, see that we're friends. Can you come and estimate this, you know, estate clean out? Or can you come and uh, see what, you know, can you give me your your idea of what it would cost? And um, as soon as they do that, I just, I just, that's my foot in the door. And I say, oh, yeah, man, I'm going to give you a good deal. You know, we're going to give you, uh, you know, an affordable price, blah, blah, blah. And uh, they love it. And that's how I get a lot of jobs off of Facebook, you know, free. I don't pay for them. Um, 
and I've I've been building my uh, Facebook account slowly but steadily, and it's been okay. helping, it's been helping me a lot. So, so what you're saying is is just going like looking for realtors, adding them, and um, and then just posting. Is that that's just kind of the gist of it? Right. Yeah. So what I did, the first thing that you have to do is you have to make your Facebook a, a digital creator. So. I don't know if you guys know the difference from a you know just a regular personal Facebook and then there's a digital creator where you can make it you know public to the community and anybody can look you up. Um, you know, once you do the digital creator, you'll notice that your reels will start getting more views. So not only is your family watching your reels, you know, random people are watching your reels. Um, I've got a lot of videos off of that as well. Um, you know, just posting, you know, random reels, uh, you know, and people love it. You know, we're local um and that one helps a lot so let's make it short really fast so you go and you get a local real estate agent and you find out that they have you get on austin facebook and you type in uh in austin realtors in austin and then you join their groups and then you post shit on that group and no you, no you, not even not even the group it's more of just their facebook page so i'm sending in oh you go directly to their facebook page yeah okay. so i go directly one thing you guys don't want to do is you don't want to be sending these realtor you know people burn requests at like 10 o'clock at night they're gonna think you're a weirdo you, you got to try to do it you know sometime between you know 10 a.m and you know a good reasonable time and you're just sending these people friend requests and they're just watching your daily content you know i post you know a good plate that my wife cooked me I'll post, you know, we're at church, then I'll post, um, you know, maybe two posts back to back, you know, um, about junk guys. And what it is, is these guys are following you and they're, they're actually, you're getting to know you a lot better. So instead of, you know, hiring these corporate businesses, now they know you and, you, you know, they're your friend and, you know, you just get a lot of business. I wish I could break it down to you a little bit better, but. No, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's that, pretty I good. Mean, I think it's pretty good. All right. Let's go. Let's Last month, I, I landed at least about 5K in jobs just from realtor people. So, okay, it works. Let's go with uh, Carson. Um, I think one of the things that a lot of people sleep on, and I slack, I slack on it a lot. Um, but that's because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely I, like I'll call myself on it. I'm lazy for not doing it as as much okay. as I need. That's to called do a procrastinator. It. Is what you are. Uh -oh. <laughs> um, but one thing is here's the thing about craigslist right is it's five bucks a post and i've had <laughs> multiple customers that are contractors they don't give the best price in the world but you show up that day and you give them a good deal you pick up the stuff they'll call you over and over and over again like I have a job tomorrow morning at seven from a guy who's used me on Craigslist. He's probably given me $10,000 worth of work just cause it's repeat. So, yeah. um, it's, you're not doing Craigslist for that one time customer. You're doing it for the contractor. That's going to use you on a repeat basis. Right. And you know, a side note about, um, about, uh well indio go ahead and ask a question indio yeah i think i i spoke to you about it on on a side note with the mess uh to a cut to anyway to a contact but how do you compete you know you against a hundred guys are saying hey listen i got for 40 or i got for 50 but just competing are you competing with other guys who are doing this as a part-time or you know fly by night guy i can pick up your stuff for blow how do you compete with that because you know, I think I, I reached out to Ricardo says, what do you have maybe in your 16 years that you use that make you stand out versus dealing with all these guys who have four or five multiple, um, you know, uh, advertisements? OK, so I'm, I'll, I'll, I want to answer this question. I've always had success on Craigslist. I don't know the whole thing about how Craigslist people are cheap. Um, Oh, somebody, we lost some connections here. Um, how Craigslist is, is cheap. I don't see Craigslist as cheap for some reason. Um, Craigslist, if I post on Craigslist uh, today, which is Tuesday night, 
I'm going to see a return on Craigslist probably Thursday or Friday, probably not Wednesday, but I'm not going to be posting about junk removal. I am not going to post anything. I'm going to put upright piano and my price and in the description, I'm going to put my phone number, but that's it. I'm going to put fridge removal, $45, refrigerator, icebox, removal. and I always get business like that. I always get business like that, but I'm not going to be sitting there and competing with junk removal and tra I, the last thing I put is junk removal. I put or trash pickup. I don't put that. I'll put something like, I don't know, uh, hot tub removal, uh, uh, you know, piano, trampoline, satellite dish. There's so much more I can make money on. Uh, Rick, you have a question? Yeah, you know, it's funny because I, I mean, I remember when I first got going, I think I came across some something you used to provide and I paid for it. And I created a template off of what you you put out there. Remember having that? Um, and I it actually has been very successful for, for me. In fact, uh, in fact, I just did a video I think last week of a, or maybe this week of a pallet removal I have for DHL. The 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 uh, they're kind of you know they they deliver they're kind of like Amazon delivering stuff or or, or UPS. And that that job came from a craigslist ad that i did and a, the trucking company that provides to dhl out of i don't know some other state probably closer to you found me on craigslist and said hey they need all these pallets removed and this was like uh four six months ago and i've been doing i've been taking care of pallets now strictly with dh for dhl every tuesday since then where they're they're like we want you just to keep coming every tuesday and removing our pallets and so this you I'm sorry, Rick. Was this a template that I gave you? You put out there. You used to give these like courses. Um, no, it was. It, 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 you used to give out these courses. I thought, and uh, you showed us how to create a template. I remember that. I was yeah. Selling them? What's that? Was I selling them? No, no. You didn't sell the template. I think you just you you made an option to buy your course or something like that. If I remember, okay. and. I was new into it and somebody told me about it and I said, Oh, okay. And I, it was worth, you know, I think it was, I don't know, seven bucks or 15 bucks or something like that. It was worth it. Okay. And I saw how you put together this really kick ass uh, Craigslist ad and I've had it up ever since. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that's yeah. great. And I made maybe, a lot. Of uh, maybe if you still have it, maybe you can share it with Indio because uh, it worked. Yeah. I guess it worked for you. I don't remember. I haven't posted on Craigslist in a, and actually like eight months or nine months, but um, you know, I was very effective on it. Yeah, it was. Um, I shared it with Roger last week or two, and um, you can now set up on Craigslist where you don't have to go in every day and reply. It asks you if you want to repost that in a month. Yep. So it will automatically repost them. So if you're every day you want to put out a post. Every day you could just say post this in 30 days, post this in 30 days, but next month it'll be on day one, day two, day three, day four, day and however many you want to do. You don't That's have cool. to manually do it anymore. Awesome. You'll, That's cool. you'll, you'll get an email saying, Hey, it was just posted. Yeah. I think I think Craigslist is the, the cheapest effective way to get money on return. It's way better than Facebook boost. I will tell you that. And I think it's way better than Google ads. I mean, for five dollars on Google ads, I don't think you're getting shit out of it for five bucks. And I, I think find, I, oh, no. I find Facebook customers cheaper than Craigslist sometimes. There you go. I've heard that. I've heard that. Rick, I've heard that more than yeah. one. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's move on to the next person. Let's talk to Herrera. Herrera, I want to hear something that you've done, Arthur, something that you've done that maybe you've gotten customers <laughs> off of, maybe something sneaky. Okay. Um, I really don't have anything too sneaky, man. I, I, I do yard signs. I um I leave cards anytime I stop to put gas. I put a, a business card, you know, at the gas pump. I put it um over where um where it shows how many gallons you're putting. You know, I slide one in there, I slide one inside the card reader. That's pretty um, sneaky. That is sneaky. Yeah. I've seen cards for gardening there before. I have seen cards, you little shit. I'm gonna see anytime there's a junk going on at Tip I'm gonna pull your shit off. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna I mean, work out his you know, you know, I, I uh I put out yard signs. Um I just recently got into to nailing them to the to the uh poles, you know, but 
they still get taken down pretty fast. And there's got to be junk removal people, man. It's got to be other junk removal companies. I know for oh, yeah. sure the junk luggers takes my signs, man, because, I mean, I don't know if y'all believe in coincidences, but when mine is gone and theirs is in the spot, mine was, you know, it's kind of. I know I don't, anyway, take, I don't take an, ever Dallas, I mean, junk lugger signs. Only yeah, if you're never. in L.A., I'll do it, never. but not, not, <laughs> no. Never, no. not once, right. Yeah. But I mean, other than that, you know, um, uh, Facebook uh, groups, you know, I post on those daily. Um, I do the, the uh, Google updates. Um, I try to do it daily, but, you know. Right, um, right. I, uh, I started, I, I, I live right on the main road, so I started parking my trailer to where it's like right out at the curb. You know what I mean? And I got, I got big ass three foot signs, you know, on on one of my trailers. So I've gotten a couple jobs like that. Yeah. By the way, we saw me and Orson saw whose truck did we see today? That was hilarious. Was what job? First of all, tell everybody what job number we were on, and then whose truck we saw parked. I don't. Know, I think six. Five or six, but but we saw stand up guys and it was empty, nobody in it. Nobody in it. Yeah. They just left that bitch parked. Yeah. It yeah. looked like they had a flat tire or two too, right? It, it yeah, they had a flat like, tire or something like that. It was that, weird. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know how that happened. So Fred, uh Fred, you're up to bat. Let's talk about how you've gotten some jobs in the past, or maybe you're using that method right now that you could share with the group. Maybe something that hasn't been mentioned. Um so I'll start off with the beginning of uh, the company. I was trying to put signs. I put signs on my car in front of the business that I was working in. And I got uh, I got a referral or a call or something like that. Um, and the woman that I did the job for was just like, wow, the service is so amazing. You got to put your sign in front of my house. So I put that there and that one sign got me probably two to three jobs a week um, and got me more like sustained. And then, you know, I mean, I got the business cards, passed those out. Um, I think the biggest thing is just the, the, the kind of like um, business cards are great for real estate. And I think that what a lot of people miss out on with real estate agents, like Vince was kind of talking about was, was not only the uh, the uh, posting, you know, you got to be their Facebook friend and they'll message you, but you got to be at their office and passing out cards and saying hi. Like, I mean, I think it's great once or twice a week. I'm I, no once or twice like a month. Not that I always do it, but to show up, maybe add some cards because you know someone else is probably going to either take them legitimately or steal them. Um, I know another huge kind of, this is kind of an industry secret, but if you put your card at like different places that rent out U-Hauls, um, people who need a U-Haul will need to clean out their junk as well. Um, and that's just kind of, if you can make a flyer, I've, I've went up to U-Haul places and, you know, some of the more ghetto ones or, you know, not ghetto is in the sense of, but not official U-Hauls. <laughs> And, and they'll let you put a lot of them will just let you put on a full on junk removal um, flyer that says, hey, we do junk and, and stuff like that. I mean, you know, and I'm, I do moving, too, but then I also do dumpsters. So I just put a flyer with all of it on um, and and, you know, just signs. It's one of the best things that I've seen is 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 going up to another business, which I don't know why they would let you do this, but. You go up to another business and you ask them, hey, can I screw this sign into your, your fence? And I probably have like four or five signs, like little, you know, you know, like plastic signs <laughs> that just are right in front of their front and center in their business um, that advertises for my service. And, you know, some of them I do a lot of business with and some of them I don't. If you do business with them, like your landscaping or your whatever types of people construction or or, you know, whatever. Um, you can kind of pressure them a little bit, but if you don't, you can just ask them and they either say yes or no. So I think just regularly hitting those kind of little cards. Apartment complexes are great. Um, also, what's been huge for us is, is elderly homes. Target the nursery home because those types love that kind of stuff and they will see it. They will call you and stuff like that. So that's kind of the down to earth kind of more guerrilla marketing. 
Um, I started my business not through online, but through the day to day, like gorilla, um, passing out cards and stuff like that. Now, I mean, I post on Facebook. I still do all that stuff now, but but right now, but how I built it was not that way. Okay, but I uh, want a side note on that. I, I work for a uh, an old folks home in Fort Worth, Texas. O Orson, we haven't been there yet, but you're going to notice something about this uh, old folks home. Uh, I only pick up bed bug stuff, bed bug mattress, bed bug couch. Yeah, we did, bed yeah. bed we bed did bug. one in Arlington like that. Yeah, but this ain't the one. And I went to tell the front desk when I started working there, like. I don't know, eight years ago, I told the front desk, and this is after like the 20th time I showed up, I decided to stop there and said, hey guys, by the way, y'all been calling me, your people have been calling me, so my name's Ricardo, here's my name and number, I wrote it down on a piece of paper, you have a lot of bed bugs in these apartments, and they're like bed bug customers for life. It's old folks home, so old yeah. folks, I will tell you, get bed bugs all the time. Old people get bed bugs all the time. A lot of them are hoarders. People yeah it's weird it's weird but uh and i hit them up maybe once every three months maybe every six months i hit them up and they're, they're customers they've been customers for a long time uh let's go to indio indio tell me something that you've been doing that's been sneaky maybe a way that you've got some business in the past to be honest i haven't done anything sneaky i, I wish i knew some sneaky techniques that's why i'm here um uh, basically just updating the uh google profile putting pictures up there uh, I mean, since the summit, uh, since we, we met there, I've been trying to get comfortable behind the camera. So I've gotten a couple of different toys. I've tried to go pro, but now I got the DG, DJI and I like that better. Um, and uh, I do, um, I am trying to ask clients if they would allow me to, 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 to record versus the way the Ricardo does. He just goes on property and starts recording. Um, so um I, I you know i so i just today just today alone i think i put four or five videos and i'm trying to look how, how to put music on there do, do different things i did reach out to one of my commercial clients who does a lot of evictions and being not, i used to be an exterminator in new york i did offer that service because when i first met her she had a huge thing of roaches and stuff so she actually called me back she really doesn't ever call me back. She called me back that she's interested because she has a lot of homes, a lot of tenants. And I said, maybe we could do some sort of um, preventative maintenance. And she says she was very interested. So that might be a little niche for me with her. Um, but I'm always looking. And, you know, I want to stop you right there. You said you you put out some video. What fucking video are you putting out, brother, that I'm not seeing? Well, I got him on YouTube, TikTok. Facebook, you gotta look. Nah, 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 nah. You're joining is... the wrong fucking groups, brother. I ain't seen shit. Anybody seen his stuff? No. Mm -mm. Uh, it's there. Like, look it up. It, it, you're well, we're see not here. I see anybody seen Rick's stuff. I've seen Rick's stuff everywhere. I've seen Nick's stuff everywhere. Look, everybody. Yeah, we're saying yes. We've seen it. Hey, so Indio. This. Indio. If yeah. you go, if you go to YouTube and you go under customization, I think it is. Yeah. They have a bunch of music that you can use, and it's all it's it's not copyrighted. You can, it's it's legal to use. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Some of the stuff that you hear, it, it you got to pick certain things, but some of the stuff is like is well, boring, man. It's like there's no. Well, it's, it's 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 just something in the background, and if I don't know if you have, I don't know if you use Apple or if you use Mac or anything like that, but I use iMovie, and um, you can. Okay volume lower higher you can do all this stuff and they have music there too but i don't think music makes your videos yeah definitely not oh, no. you know what rick, rick you're singing to the choir i think indio's looking for excuses so here's i'm going to challenge indio and i think all of us should challenge indio indio to, and motivate him to we want to at least see at least two videos next week bro just give me two hello rick bro. is pumping them out like this fucking pancake so we, are, no. <laughs> we need like two videos a day Jesus Christ! It freaks doing it. And he's where is he? Where am I? Like, see, uh, you can't see this shit. But oh, yeah, it's shit. There, bro. You need to share them somewhere because you're keeping them to yourself. Well, here's the thing: I didn't know that you had to switch from private to public, and that's what I did today. I didn't know. Listen, I'm learning this stuff, no, bro. No, so no. I am. Oh, I'm fuck. That goes them. back to the digital creation <laughs> I was talking. No, about. no, I went. I went what back and made them all public, but they're there. It says India the whole of seventy four something, blah blah blah. But yeah. I, you know, I have, 
I have nine videos. I've never had a video in my life before. All right. You got right. nine, right? That's a big damn deal, man. All right. All right. <laughs> Let's go to Matt. Matt, uh, you're just starting, Matt. So you want to say something, Matt, or are you just uh, you're just taking everything in, brother? No, I mean, uh, I've been doing a lot of old school, just handshaking. I work at a bar still four days a week. And I've got a bunch of Pied Pipers of people handing out my, I got that custom phone number, 480 Stellar, so people remember that really easy. I'm at the biggest real estate group in my area, eating at the restaurant. I waited on their table. So I've been just networking. I wear my hat every shift. Oh, good. Yeah. It's good. Hey, Matt, let me ask you, what kind of food do y'all serve? Uh, it's Mediterranean. Pita's. But you're not... Per Persian or anything? I mean, what the fuck? No, no. Oh, okay. Hey, Matt, remember when people drink, they only remember two things. Their first drink and their last drink. Well, it's not just a bar. It's like healthy food that happens to have a bar inside. So, oh, okay. Go figure. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Clinton, let's see, Clinton. What you got hidden, brother? Other than your fence business, well, that's about how I get most of my stuff. Is just talking. Well, well, I want I want to stop Clinton really fast. Clinton was over in my house with Fred over here the other day. Clinton has all these videos on his phone. He's yeah. got about eight hundred videos on his phone, and I'm like, oh no, oh no. Listen, I just want to tell everybody in this group: if you have videos on your phone and you're not putting them out there, what the fuck do you like looking at yourself? Put a fence up and time lapse or something? What are, What are you doing? Why are you even recording that? I don't know. I'm like India. I'm looking for music, make it more interesting because it's a damn time lapse. Who wants to watch that shit? You know. I I did. I watched you where you took the fence off. The fence was like black, and then you made it brown and stuff with that spray. Yeah. I thought that was amusing. I was like, "What the hell? That's cool." You should post well, that. Well, it does do, it be that. It's like different film. days. It's a big video. If I do the whole thing, you know, I got to clean it one day, stain it you the next gotta, day. You just got to live it. Like you got to yeah. just upload it that day. I put know. It on the edit it. Put Ex it up. Excuses are like assholes. Everybody has them. I know. I'm gonna get on. Damn it. You know. Come on. All I'm right. Let's go. Marco. Marco, where are you at? Marco, are you working? Yeah. Can you, I'm see. Can you answer this or no? Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, let's see. Well, I kind of do sometimes the same thing that uh, I think Hedda was saying about putting the cars at pumps. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Sometimes I have like these plastic containers on the side of it and I'll just put throw cards in there. Um, also, I guess when customers are kind of like iffy, if they want to like pay the price, they, like you kind of lower it. We'll ask them to uh, tell their neighbors and if they have anything, if their neighbors have anything and we can lower the price a little bit. So um, we've gotten a couple of jobs like that as well. We did a garage clean out for, I think, two different clients just because they told their neighbors like if they had anything and they're like, yeah. And we just got a couple of jobs like that as well. It's kind of like next door. Like, you know, everyone talk, everyone's talking to their neighbors, but uh, let's see. We what know else? about you leaving cards. Trust me. We know about you. Yeah. <laughs> I leave cards <laughs> everywhere. Or like if I'm putting them at the gas pumps, like I see someone with a nice car or something, I'll just give it to them. Like, hey. hey by the way, who's service. still wearing their <laughs> Look at everybody. Putting them. Who's still wearing their RGB. Their I still have mine on. There it is. <laughs> Who's got the QR code? You gotta scan the QR code, man. You gotta scan the QR code in the back. Okay. Matt, Matt got it. Anybody else wearing their, their junk removal wristband still? Uh, I still have mine. I need to take a shower. Yeah, I just took a shower, man. I took a picture and sent it to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, let's go with uh we let's, 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 let's Robert. Robert, what you got, Robert? Roger, what's up, man? Okay, what I do is any place I go, like the grocery stores always have a community bulletin board. I constantly put stuff in the community bulletin board. I've got some flyers, and if I can, I'll hang the flyers up even higher because they don't get torn off as easy. Okay. But every, every, every single grocery store, every single hardware store um, always has a freebie bulletin board, community centers. I'm always dropping stuff. I've gone to every single and uh, apartment complexes. They've also got a bulletin board. Usually, I hang a card or a, or a flyer there. Um, that's how I've got a lot of not necessarily big jobs, but a lot of little jobs, which add up, like we all know. And that's what I've done. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, Renardia, you want to share? 
I don't have anything sneaky that we do. Uh oh. Well, I'll tell you something sneaky that everybody sees you doing right now, and that's you blur the background like you're like selling drugs or something. <laughs> you got a weed farm or something back there. You're always you're always blocking back there. Is your husband walking around butt naked in the background? What's going on? My living room is toddler messy today. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. So uh, let's move on to Austin. Austin, do you have anything that you do that maybe nobody has mentioned on this group? Everybody, watch your ears. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, not necessarily. Um, I do the updates, so like Herrera was saying. Um, I post more videos on Facebook um, than YouTube. Hi. Um, honestly, I think I, I just got 300 reviews. I think that's kind of helped me. I mean, I'm getting a lot more Google people finding me on Google since I did 300 reviews. Um, but really, nothing, man. Just trying to stay consistent no matter what. I think it's been the main thing. Um, and let the business mature. That's been my, you know, what that's been really helpful. Definitely, definitely. I think uh, being consistent helps a lot, a lot. Hanario, you got something for us, brother? Uh, yeah, I joined Junk Guys. This motherfucker. <laughs> 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 no, um, there's one thing that I've been uh, thinking about doing is uh, I see a lot of uh, people on the Facebook group who's always asking if anybody has free moving boxes. So one thing I thought about doing is starting to collect uh, mm. boxes and putting them in my shipping container that I have on my property. And when somebody asks for that, you know, I'll reach out to them and say, yeah, I got free uh, boxes. The only thing I ask is that you put a Facebook post, you know, saying that, you know, uh, Junk Guys Tampa provided you with free boxes on your page in exchange for the boxes. Smart. Hmm. Yeah, you go ahead and write that down, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, short version. Do you have anything that you um, that you do that maybe nobody's brought up to the group yet? No, I, I really haven't. The only thing I, that I've done, I did one time last year was uh, we did a Instagram ad. Was like I tried it out for like two weeks. I think it was like fifty bucks. I think we got like three jobs out of it. But really, that's the only thing that I've paid for. You know, since we started. Um, and it came out okay, but I, I didn't want to keep paying for that. You know what I mean? So right, right, right. But uh, you know, it's mostly just like it's mostly just like on Google my business and right. Uh, actually, I've got some stuff on Next Door. Mm -hmm. um, we did the uh, Craigslist, but we didn't get anything from that. I guess I think I just like you said. I think I just worded it the wrong way using junk instead of specializing in certain thing. You know what I mean? So yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. But I think I'm gonna, I may, I may try go back and do that again, but just like specializing in certain things, single items, things. single items. Yeah, single items. Yeah, exactly. Roger, you have a question, Roger? No, um, actually, I just wanted to thank you and take Ricky. Thanks, Ricky, um, for the advice of using um, uh, Craigslist. Actually, started joining it last week. And it's been like at least one job per day for the last six days. So it's been working great for me, man. Oh, yeah, man. You know, thank you, Ricky. Thank, thanks are a lot, you man. Are you telling me you never had used Craigslist? Never. This is the first time ever. And hmm. it's, it's working. It's working. I mean, it's, it's six days, six jobs, you know, oh, so far. I'm and I'm only I'm, I'm I'm only spending five bucks a day, dude. That's it. Hell Every yeah. day at nine o'clock in the morning, I post, and that's it. So just a quick note about about Craigslist, how Craigslist actually works, because I've done a lot of one. I did I did for like six years straight. Okay, and Clinton, I'm going to get to your question in a minute. But um, the thing about Craigslist, I always post it twice. So I would spend four. Uh, I would spend at the time I was spending like twenty dollars a day so it was like every day i was paying paying 20 bucks so it'd be uh five and five in the morning so it would be after 12. i'd always post around 11 30 12 o'clock for my first two posts and then i would post after 5 p.m because people had lunch at 11 30 12 
and I would post, and that's when they're on the phone. And then after five, that's when they get off their work, and they were on the. And I had, I would do twenty bucks every day, and I did it six days. I did, I didn't do Sundays, but I always did it six days all the way to Saturday. Um, and it worked for me really good, really good. Now, Robert, Roger, if you're only spending five dollars, you're only going to get what you spend. But I will tell you, the more you spend, I, I've always thought the more jobs you get. Okay? Oh, absolutely. I just wanted to try. I just wanted to try it low, yeah. you know. And 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 now I know that it works. Yeah. I, yeah. Now I'm ready to invest more money in it, into yeah. it because I know I can get more jobs, you know. And you were thinking Rick, right? You were thinking Rick. Rick, Rick. Yeah, I was Rick, thinking Rick. Rick too, and I was thinking you. you the template no, rick, or what, what did you, you do ricardo you advised <laughs> me to do that and then i spoke to rick uh and and he was so kind to let me use his ad um um so i kind of like i copy it what he did and 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 it was perfect man it worked like a charm i put a link to it in our comments uh but it's that's the one i learned from ricardo years ago wow, that's cool that's cool Okay, cool, cool. Very good. Clinton, you had a question? I even that? I even sent it to you, uh, Ray, Ricardo. I, I saw it to you. I saw that. I saw yeah. that. Was, you never it, replied. You never said I never it replied to it. I didn't know what the hell it was. Come on, dude. <laughs> I have a question right. for about the uh next door. How are you guys posting on there? Because whenever I posted on there a couple years ago, I quit messing with it because they kept declining my post that you cannot yeah. advertise. Uh, your business yeah so, no i, I did i did that. use yeah. next door um uh, for about i don't know three <laughs> months not even a single job i got off of it no, okay uh, or not a single job dude. not so even a single one yeah. for three months man why don't you answer that question or yeah yeah so with next door the way it works is you have a personal profile which is your profile and then yeah. you can create a business profile so you, you can't post about your business I, like like you just can't make posts like hey i i want i have a junk removal service no i I, I did it the right way as a matter of fact i was paying I yeah was paying, i was paying every day you know i was paying yeah every, I, I can't a, remember. a big thing with the two door wouldn't let me post on my business without paying for something first Thank you. Yeah, the thing with it is you, you really got to be kind of like consistent with it. That They're going to take your post down if you're like spamming the content. The, the way to get business off of Nextdoor is to get recommendations. So if you know anyone in your neighborhood at all, like friends, family, whoever, have them be like, recommend you. And that's going to show you on Nextdoor. So create a business profile. So I, for have me, GPTS, yeah, I have some recommendations. Yeah. But and then just get people to recommend you. But but he can't give up. How many how many recommendations you got? Probably like three to four. Well, there's your problem right there. I have no idea. I quit messing with it after I spent eight hundred dollars and didn't get a damn thing. I but was but the thing is, you can't spend money on it. No one's telling I you to spend. Money I just spend on money on mine. You know, if you're spending money on it, it's the same thing as if you're wasting money on Google Ads. Yeah. But the the whole point of next door is to get recommendations from your neighbors. Yeah. So if you're spending money, you're defeating the whole purpose of the app, which is for neighbors to recommend you. You're not using it the correct way. If you only have three, four recommendations, you're not going to get a lot. If you have 40 recommendations, you're going to start picking up business. Okay. And sometimes I mean, you kind of do it one thing. week, gain mm -hmm. those recommendations little by little by little, and it's going to snowball. Just like with your website, if you build your website, you have four pages on there, you're not going to get anything. But if you have 20, you're, you're going to get more. Yeah. You got to stay consistent with it, and you just okay. can't give up on it. Yeah, I just I just came up with an idea. That's why I I, I joined you guys late um uh, later on that tonight because I was working on with my daughter. She was helping me out to create a new business card, only and exclusively for uh, furniture removal, because I do have a lot of uh, um, places where they sell uh, uh, furniture around my house. So I have Ashley's furniture. I have city furniture rooms to go. All these big corporations, I got tons of them, and they they do deliver the furnitures, but they don't pick up the old stuff. They don't pick up the old mattresses and all that stuff. So um, I've been doing deliveries for city furniture for the last two years, and I always when I when I do uh, make a delivery they always i always pick up some some stuff to throw away so i'm creating this business car 
for the sales rep where and at the bottom says uh referred by so what they do what they put their name on it and they give it to the customers when the customer calls me and say uh, you know uh jose told me that you remove all furnitures and, and do that kind of stuff so um i the way i motivate this sales rep is by giving them a 10 percent of every every job that i close um as a commission that's why they you know that's that's how they get motivated that's it, it, I, I hope that that's how they're going to be calling me because um you know because they, they've been calling me anyways but just for deliveries you know but i want to focus on the uh, on furniture removal as well okay yeah. roger uh marco you had a question marco marco you had a question marco oh, no, i didn't have a question sorry i was gonna go based off of orson with the next door and the and i was gonna talk a little bit about the crisis uh, okay for next door like uh orson said don't spend money on it just keep posting on your business page like uh, uh keep posting like as much as you can like as you're posting on facebook and also kind of scroll through it because a lot of people post on there and they'll be looking for services and they'll be asking hey do you know anybody that removes uh con like uh furniture or anything like that and you have to kind of scroll through it a little bit to look at what they're posting because a lot of people post what they need and so you can find a lot of clients just by scrolling through it because it's everybody in your area okay. and also with the craigslist in the description try to put as much keywords as you can because craigslist goes based off of what they type in in search so if you can put it like a bunch of different keywords in there i think that's the best way possible to find people or for people to find you okay uh, i want to show y'all something before we go oh fuck me who has their hand raised up junk guys who <laughs> fuck go ahead carson Carson's still trying to learn how to use the mic. Oh, we can hear you, Carson. Go ahead and talk. We can hear you. Yes. Oh, really? We can hear you really good. Oh, shit. Never mind. So we just can't hear you. That's the if you're trying to show us something, we can see it, but you're not talking. And you're still not talking, brother. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. All right. Can you see what I'm sharing? Yes. Okay, so um, so Ricardo said I was lazy, so I had to prove him wrong. Uh, so this is a website that um, that I made from. So our last meeting, he had showed us the website that he did for the um, the evictions, right? And so I decided, okay, well, you know, with Nashville, the problem with evictions in Nashville is that they're not. Um, the sheriff's department has basically guys that got to do community service. They have them do the clean out and then the sheriff's department will come out and pick up all the junk for free. So um, instead of focusing on that, I decided to do hoarding cleanup. Um, so real quick, this is our, um, this is the website that I had made for it um it's still getting connected to the domain right now but as you can see um a lot of seo content a lot of images that are uh tagged with um the keywords for hoarding cleanup i have some of the videos that we've done with hoarding cleanup um some more like why someone would use us for hoarding cleanup and then it has some questions like how much does hoarding cleanup cost and then it has an answer to that what is hoarding how does hoarding cleanup process work and then a lot of different call to actions. And then so um, also, too, there's not a lot of services within hoarding cleaning cleanup, um, but there is a different term for it that is hoarder cleaning. So I made a page for that with different images, different context um, within the um, the SEO that I built out for it. And then I have a, a page for every single city in my area for um, the hoarding cleanup. So hopefully um the goal with this website is to obviously get more hoarding cleanup um jobs and uh yeah that's the goal so um i took action from the last meeting from what we had talked about and i hope that you guys after every single one of these meetings these meetings are pointless 
unless you take action. So we heard a lot of good stuff tonight. Um, and so it, taking one of those things and putting it in action and seeing that result by the next meeting, that, that should be the goal for everybody. So good, good. So uh, as you know, guys, I don't, I want everybody not to be discouraged, but to be have positive attitude about these websites that you build. Uh, of course, last, I guess last week or the week before I introduced my junk guys, Alito website, uh, I want to show you some of the effectiveness really quick before we all get off of what it's done. I'm going to pull this up right now. I just Googled it like right now, right now. Okay. So I'm going to show you all each one of these pages. All right. So this is me on the Google bar and I Googled satellite dish, Alito, Texas, satellite dish removal, Alito, Texas. The first one that comes up is Yelp junk guys, Alito, Texas. The website I just completed. Don't forget. I typed in, how does eviction cleanup work? How does the eviction cleaning process work in Alito, Texas? In Alito, Texas eviction, probably typical blah, 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 junk guys. Number one. I typed in upright piano removal, Alito, Texas, number one. I typed in trampoline removal, Alito, Texas. Alito junk removal, that's not me. Junk guys, that's me. And there's junk guys, Alito. It's the key words that I really, the reason it's coming up like this is because the key words are so pinpoint and that's why it worked. And I do not come up for junk removal. I do not come up for trash bulk pickup. And I don't even come up for hot tub, which is my biggest deal. Uh, so I'm still working on those. But just just realize, and I, I've gotten one phone call. By the way, I've got one phone call from Alito um, in the past week. But this is a long, I, I look at it like as a long-term deal. I'm thinking like six to eight months now, I'm going to be kicking ass and taking names in Alito, Texas, Texas. But just imagine, what are the chances that someone's going to need their trampoline removed or their piano removed in Alito? Pretty slim, but if they do, guess what? I'll be on the first page of Google. You know what I mean? And that's how these websites work. And that's, you know, when I try to teach, a, you know, um, about website design and website, the questions that I ask and what I add to the website, um, the content, the rich content that I put, the rich information, not copied from other people's pages. I put original shit on there. That's how it works. And that's why those pages are ranked. Now, I Googled a lot of stuff. I'll Google a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff doesn't come out, but trampoline, upright piano, how does eviction cleaning process work and satellite dish removal, even satellite dish disposal comes up on the first page, upright piano disposal comes up on the same thing for trampoline demo removal. It comes up in Alito, Texas on the first page, but just to show you the main one, uh, main keyword was also removal. I use removal a lot. Okay. Try to veer your stuff away from the word junk removal and concentrate on the other stuff. I did a video about this the other day that I think a lot of us companies are so on that term junk removal because I'm going to be honest with you. And I said this again in another video. I said, if you need your hot tub hauled away and demoed and taken care of, the last thing you type is junk removal. You do not go on the fucking bar of Google and type in junk removal you type in hot tub removal hot tub get rid of hot tub out of my backyard hot tub demoed but the last thing you type in is junk removal. when you need your satellite dish hauled off and took it off the top of your roof you do not type in junk removal you type in satellite get rid of get get off or whatever you want to type of when you need your piano same thing i can go over and over and over but i do not know one person that i've ever removed a piano that's told me oh i typed in junk removal when i saw you no motherfuckers guys they typed in upright piano or baby grand piano or, or piano removal and they got it so concentrate on those little keywords because that's what i do indio you have a question yeah real quick do you guys do you have a a video on how you created your website, or even Carson, do you guys ever have time or ever maybe do in the future do a video or how do you, what's the process, putting the colors, like all of that stuff. Um, I'm, you know, I don't know, I don't know how. So I'm just yeah. asking. 
Well, I'll send you a link for it, but I, I have, I do have videos. I mean, I have it on my course. Indio, aren't you part of my course or something like that? And you pay one big dollar and 99 cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to break y'all's bank. Okay. But I, I, I think I put it on there. You know, I think I put it on there that there is a course where I build the whole website. It's like a two hour. But okay. uh, I, build it. Uh, yeah, I, haven't, I haven't gotten to it. So I'll just yeah. check it. Course. It's on there. I know it's on there. If you paid for the big whopping dollar ninety nine, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. telling you, it's on there. All right, guys. So Google Sites, man, and that thing is confusing, bro. Oh my god, bro, are you serious? Google Sites is confusing, bro. That man, I was so freaking lost, man. <laughs> oh my god, bro, you think that's confusing, Herrera? I, I. I would be embarrassed to put you in front of like something like WordPress. Don't Jesus. feel bad, India. <laughs> Jesus Christ! All right, guys. Welcome, welcome to the club, man. <laughs> all right, it's because you need a, you need no have some kind of computer literacy, brother. I'm telling you, it's not that hard. Brother. It's not that hard, you know. Anyway, guys, we will talk next week, next Tuesday night at nine o'clock. This is the end of our video. Everybody, have a great night. Okay. Uh, thank, thank you, man. Good night, y'all. Bye, bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Rick. Good night, everybody. Good night, y'all.